Atomic Habits, by James Clear is one of the most impactful books on personal development and habit formation, offering a transformative approach to building good habits and breaking bad ones. Clear emphasizes that success is not the result of massive changes but of small, incremental improvements made consistently over time. Let's break down the core concepts of this book in a way that provides practical solutions to your everyday challenges, helping you understand how small habits can lead to significant, lasting change. The Power of Atomic Habits At the heart of Atomic Habits is the idea that small, consistent habits, or atomic, habits, are the building blocks of monumental change. Clear argues that focusing on improving by just 1% every day can lead to remarkable growth over time. This principle draws on the idea of compound growth, where small improvements accumulate and multiply. Don't aim for dramatic changes overnight. Focus on making tiny improvements consistently, and over time, these small gains will add up. The value here is that it takes the pressure off. You don't need to be perfect right away. Instead, just get a little better each day. The Four Laws of Behavior Change Clear introduces the Four Laws of Behavior Change, a framework that helps us understand how to form good habits and break bad ones. These laws are make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, make it satisfying. Each of these laws can be used to either promote good habits or discourage bad ones. Let's dive into each of them. Law 1. Make it obvious. To form a new habit, it's essential to identify the cues that will trigger the behavior. Clear emphasizes the importance of setting up your environment to make cues for good habits more visible and reduce cues for bad habits. For example, if you want to read more, place your book on your pillow each morning so that it becomes a visible reminder to read before bed. Conversely, if you're trying to stop snacking on junk food, keep unhealthy snacks out of sight or avoid purchasing them altogether. Your environment shapes your behavior. Make the cues for your desired habits obvious and visible, and hide the cues for bad habits. Law 2. Make it attractive. Humans are more likely to engage in behaviors that are appealing. Clear suggests that you can make habits more attractive by pairing them with things you enjoy. This technique is known as temptation bundling. For instance, if you want to work out but find it hard to start, you could pair it with listening to your favorite podcast or audiobook, making the activity more enjoyable. If a habit feels rewarding or enjoyable, you're more likely to stick with it. By making your desired habit more attractive, you increase the likelihood of following through. Law 3. Make it easy. Clear argues that many people fail at forming new habits because they make them too complicated. He encourages the use of the two-minute rule which suggests that any new habit should take two minutes or less to start. The idea is to lower the barrier to entry, so the habit becomes easy to do. For example, instead of saying, I will read for an hour every night, start with, I will read one page before bed. Once you've mastered the small version, it's easier to expand the habit over time. Make your habits as easy as possible to start. Once the habit is formed, you can gradually increase the difficulty. Law 4. Make it satisfying. Humans are wired to repeat actions that bring satisfaction. Clear suggests that to make a habit stick, it must be immediately satisfying. Use rewards as a tool to reinforce the behavior, such as giving yourself a small treat after completing a workout or crossing a task off your to-do list. One powerful technique here is using a habit tracker. Seeing your progress visually can be rewarding and motivates you to keep the streak going. Make your habits satisfying by celebrating small wins, tracking your progress, or rewarding yourself immediately after completing the habit. Identity-based habits One of the most profound ideas in Atomic Habits is the concept of identity-based habits. Clear suggests that the key to lasting change is to focus not on what you want to achieve but on who you wish to become. He emphasizes that your habits are a reflection of your identity, and the most effective way to change your behavior is to change how you see yourself. Instead of saying, I want to lose weight, say, I want to become a healthy person. Every action you take either casts a vote for or against that identity. Each time you make a healthy choice, you are reinforcing the identity of being a healthy person. Shift your focus from outcomes to identity. 
ask yourself, who do I want to become? And let your habits flow from this vision, the plateau of latent potential. One of the reasons people give up on habits is because progress often feels slow, and the results aren't immediately visible. Clear calls this the plateau of latent potential. It's the period where it seems like nothing is happening, even though your efforts are slowly compounding. He uses the analogy of an ice cube melting. At first, the temperature rises without any visible change. But at 32 degrees, the ice begins to melt. The work you've been putting in all along finally starts to show results. Don't be discouraged by a lack of immediate results. Habits work on a delayed reward system, and it's crucial to keep pushing through the plateau until you see progress. Habit stacking. To make it easier to build new habits, Clear suggests a method called habit stacking. This involves attaching a new habit to an existing one. The existing habit acts as a cue for the new one, making it easier to remember and implement. For example, if you already have a habit of making coffee in the morning, you could attach a new habit to it, such as meditating for five minutes. So your new habit stack becomes, After I make my coffee, I will meditate for five minutes. Use habit stacking to link new behaviors to existing habits. This leverages your existing routine to help solidify new habits. The importance of systems over goals. While goals are important, Clear emphasizes that systems are what truly drive success. Goals are about the results you want to achieve, while systems are about the processes that lead to those results. He argues that you should focus less on setting goals and more on designing the systems and processes that will lead to those outcomes. For example, if your goal is to run a marathon, your system is your training schedule. Instead of fixating on the finish line, focus on executing your daily training runs. The process will take care of the result. Shift your focus from outcomes to systems. The daily processes and habits you put in place are what drive long-term success. The role of environment in habit formation. Clear highlights how our environment plays a significant role in shaping our habits. He explains that our surroundings either make it easier or harder to follow through on desired behaviors. If you want to eat healthier, stock your kitchen with healthy foods and remove junk food. If you want to be more productive, create a workspace free of distractions. By designing your environment to support your habits, you increase your chances of success. Your environment is a powerful force in habit formation. Design it in a way that supports your goals and makes good habits easier to follow. Atomic Habits offers a practical, science-backed framework for building better habits and breaking bad ones. The key message is that small changes, when compounded over time, can lead to remarkable improvements. By focusing on tiny, atomic habits, optimizing your environment, and aligning your habits with your identity, you can make lasting change. Remember, the journey to success isn't about massive action but about the small, consistent steps that lead to long-term progress. Each small action is a vote for the type of person you wish to become. By following the principles in this book, you'll be well on your way to becoming the person you've always wanted to be. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more insightful books like this.